Is COVID-19 a hoax? Well, there are a number of conspiracy theories about COVID-19, even political arguments. The virus is present around the world and has cost the lives of many people in a short time frame. Hospitals are experiencing significant difficulties to treat ill patients, many having to create pop-up treating rooms. The rate of transmission, death rate, and the many unknowns of the disease create a high risk on our lives. So no, it is not a hoax. It is very real. What scams should I watch out for? Great question. The CDC is aware that some people are getting calls that look like they're from the CDC. It may say CDC on their caller ID or voice messages saying that this call is from the CDC. Some are even requesting donations. The scammers are highly sophisticated and organized, so be wary of answering phone calls and giving your personal information. And use the same caution with emails or text messages. Is a mask harmful? Not at all. Some masks like the N95 help prevent you from breathing in someone else's germs while cloth face masks help prevent us from spreading our germs to others. There's no record of masks being harmful for healthy people, but children under two and people with breathing problems should limit their use. I hear that the virus is harmful to some people. There is no documented immunity to the virus. Every person, no matter their age, race, color, income, country of origin, is at risk of being infected. Individuals that have pre-existing condition or weak defenses may be at a higher risk for complications. This is why we must be proactive for all members of the community. When will this be over? Currently, many scientists are working to create better treatments and potential vaccines. These illnesses are new to the world and there are many things we learn every day. This is why we need to act with precaution until we have better treatments, a potential vaccine, and we gain better understanding of control.